Welcome to the Quantum ICT Research Institute at Tamagawa University, Tokyo. Since we opened this institute in 1988, the goal has been to come up with the best physical cipher, such as Y0 machine. In 1990, we established a conference on quantum communication, measurement, and computing. Between 1990 and 2010, we honored 25 scientists with the International Quantum Communication Award. It is our utmost honor to say that the two of them won the 2012 Nobel Prize in Physics. Today, we proudly present the significant progress we have achieved in making quantum enigma cipher a reality. Our main concern is to develop useful technology that is required in real world. Especially, those functions can be enhanced by macroscopic quantum phenomena. Now we have two missions. Our first mission is the quantum enigma cipher to protect the optical network against physical cyber attack. For example, attack against nuclear power network. Our target is to realize a quantum enigma cipher. It's a kind of stream cipher and it has a good security. Today, the cloud system is connected by optical fibers carrying lots of important information. Such fiber has a risk of eavesdropping and data manipulation by physical attacks. These risks might lead to uh, fatal damage or network shutdown. So we are trying to realize a cipher for secure optical fiber communication systems. Our ciphering scheme scrambled information using noise in optical light and prevent an eavesdropper from reading ciphertext correctly and manipulating data. We have fabricated a compact cipher transceiver operating at 2.5 gigabit per second data rate. We have an optical transmission test bed installed underground on our campus. Using the test bed, we have successfully demonstrated a long-term test of the transceiver. The data rate can be easily scaled up. In the lab, we achieved 100 gigabit per second. Now we are focusing on the research for quantum enigma cipher. Also, we have a plan to develop cipher transceivers for practical use. The gap between a physical crypto system and its theoretical model might enable a kind of side channel that can access the system unexpectedly. Therefore, the key is to consider the side channel attack against the system. The main target of this theoretical study is to guarantee the security of the quantum enigma cipher using only parameters that can be measured experimentally. I think it is possible to attain this by evaluating the quantum signal detection capability of hackers who attempt to use the side channels. Fortunately, I have excellent collaborators around the world, such as Professor Horrible. Our second mission is a quantum laser camera. It is a new concept of quantum imaging, applying the macroscopic quantum entanglement phenomena. This may provide the sensor for unmanned car control in any weather. The quantum laser camera is a camera with both functions of laser and camera, which is designed by our new theory. It builds an image frame even if a human cannot see the target because of a disturbance from bad weather. This is applicable to pedestrian detection in car. We started to construct an experiment setup for generating two more screens light. Here is the optical setup which consists of a high power laser light source, lots of mirrors, beam splitters and lenses. The most important part is nonlinear optical crystal for wavelength conversion, squeezing quantum noise, and generating macroscopic quantum entanglement. The entire unit is complicated optical circuit at this moment, but we will miniaturize the optical system and apply it to a quantum radar experiment in a few years. It is reported that about 100 terabyte of valuable information is being hacked so far. The responsibility is upon each of us to securely guard our own data. And we hope 
The research on the quantum enigma cipher at Tamagawa University will make a significant contribution to information security. And we look forward to your visit.